Well, I haven't really worked with a company like 3 d Me before, um, so it's been a novel experience in that respect. But um, I guess the closest I've come is to work with, is to talk to agents from big publishing companies, the sort of textbooks I use in my teaching, and um, really they one gets the impression that they are you know good at listening and taking on your ideas about how certain concepts might be better presented but at the end of the day nothing much changes you know the resources they have are the resources you get to use uh, but with 3 d me it was um, it was very much an interactive uh, exercise and um, it was great for me to be able to realize uh, some thoughts I'd had over many years about how I could do a better job of presenting some difficult concepts in respiratory physiology um, so in terms of how did it compare, well, it was incomparable, <laughs> but uh, it was a great experience. Yeah, look, they've been really great. Um, there are a number of concepts that are difficult uh, in my subject, and this is probably the top of the list. I've really had this idea that I would like to produce some animated explanation of this topic and um, when I was able to uh, interact with, with the folks at 3DMe, they were able to tell me that what I had long dreamed of was in fact possible and not only that, they, they just couldn't have been more helpful actually in terms of uh, making sure that the animation was just how I wanted it. It's great that they have people on staff or part of the company who are um, experienced with, with the sort of anatomy and physiology that I teach. So that made, that made it a lot easier because uh, they, they were able to quickly understand where I was coming from. And I have to say I was blown away when I, when I saw the, uh, the first version of, of this animation. Um, so yeah. Great job, 3D Me. The only message I can really think of, at the top of my head, is just you've done a great job and just keep doing what you're doing. I mean, I don't know what goes on in the back room there. I know there's lots of fancy equipment and it costs a lot of money, but um, so however you do what you do, um, I can't imagine how it could have, could have been improved. So it's quite difficult for me to, to give a message to, to a bunch of people who uh, I know have worked hard on this project. Uh, probably some of them I, uh, I didn't even meet. I'm not really sure. I'm aware that, you know, that the, the operation involves a lot of people working in a, a very coordinated and supportive way. So uh, yeah, just keep up the good work, guys. Well, um, as I said earlier, my, my, um, my grand plan is to produce a series of uh, such animations. Physiology, the physiology that I teach about the respiratory system, um, it's a very dynamic system. We're breathing all the time, so the lungs are moving, the blood is moving through the lungs, and it can be quite difficult to convey some of these sort of mechanical concepts that are important for the students under to understand with static images. So, um, yeah, this, is, this, this first animation is, has been great. Um, I think with four or five others looking at key topics in this area, I could really do a great job of uh, getting, getting the concepts over to, to our health science students. And particularly the first year students, because what I find is that the students uh, we have for three years and then we progress the teaching of, of respiratory physiology over that time but what I found is that um, they they find the concepts quite difficult and, and they turn off from, physio from physiology at an early stage and I never get them back again so uh, I've, I've heard this from several students over the years so I think if I could 
grab their attention in, in that first experience, uh, then I could probably do a better job of, of teaching them the physiology of this moving system with, with animations. Um, so that's where I'd like to go. Um, I think we've got to work on getting some funding. It's not cheap to produce these animations. Uh, and I'll be looking to do that with 3D Me into the future and hopefully uh, produce a series of, of these uh, amazing animations. Thank you.